an Ashland student who is in Cary Medical Center with a debilitating disease, attending graduation at school is not possible. But as Sarah Coddington reports, Katina Nelson is not missing out because the class of 89 from Ashland Community High School brought graduation to her. It's graduation day at Ashland Community High School. Katina Nelson is dressed and ready to receive her diploma. But attending tonight's ceremony is not possible for this 18-year-old. Over the last year, Katina has been in and out of the hospital, suffering from Crohn's disease, an incurable but non-life-threatening intestinal illness. If you eat, it hurts. If you don't eat, it hurts. And, like, you don't want to move at all, all the time. If you get up in the morning and you say, oh, I don't want to roll over in bed because I know it's going to hurt. It's a real bummer. Katina woke up today at Cary Medical Center believing she would receive her diploma in her hospital room from the school superintendent. Little did she know that the 53 other Ashland High School seniors were coming too, giving her her very own graduation. She's our best friend. <laughs> I wouldn't miss her. And it wouldn't be the same unless she had her graduation too. Well, she's, you know, been a real good friend and just sad to see something like this happen. You know, her being ill like this and, you know, I wish her the best of luck. And it's a once in a lifetime thing and then we should let her have a time. Yeah. I mean, it's not a nice place to have it in the hospital. So we wanted to bring her some good luck. And, and we wanted to be with us always in spirit. I mean, <laughs> and we really loved you. And you're going to be very special for us tonight. And God bless you. Fighting off and giving in to the tears of happiness and sadness all morning, Katina heard from classmates and organizers about graduation practice last night. Jill Tripp going up the stairs. <laughs> God forgot the words to the song. Uh, you lost your show. I think it's been excellent. I don't think you'd find many schools that would do it. Something she needed right now? Yeah, I think she did. She does everything in the world for me, so it's time we did something for her. Did you realize you had so many good friends? Yeah, I, I knew they were there. I did. Taking her illness one day at a time, Katina Nelson says, like she did as a cheerleader, she'll continue to grin and bear the pain until it passes. She's on drug therapy now, and surgery is being considered. And today, as she and the class of 89 gather for the last time, looking ahead, preparing to go their own ways, Katina has one wish for the future. Be totally healthy. Katina plans to work for her father, Robert Nelson, in his roofing siding business.